Hey guys, Stefan here. Today, we're going to be looking at another Logic Pro 10 workflow implementation, and that is using the multi output function with the EXS24. It's had quite a few requests, so without delay, let's go. The first thing you want to do is to head over to Logic Pro 10 Preferences and Advanced Tools and make sure all of our boxes here are ticked. Next, let's add our EXS24 and select multi output. Now you'd most likely want to do this when creating your own instruments, but we're going to be using an existing one for the sake of this tutorial. Let's choose a drum kit as if you're planning to, to do this, you're most likely going to be using uh, drum samples with the EXS24. So we'll choose this drum kit here for the sake of convenience. Now if we bring up the mixer, you'll notice there's a plus and minus sign here. Now all multi-output software instruments have this in Logic Pro 10. This is what allows us to add or take away channels. So for the sake of this video, let's say we want our first three samples to be on their own channels. We have a kick, a rim shot, and it sounds like another rim shot. So let's add three new channels by pressing the plus sign just here. Now if you notice, we have the inputs labelled here. Channels 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and 7 and 8. Now why doesn't it start from channels 1 and 2? Well it actually does, and that's because the EXS24 is actually channels 1 and 2. Now we have the decision here to either use this channel or not. Again, for the sake of the video, we'll ignore it and start with channels 3 and 4 so you can really see how this is working. Now let's go back to the EXS24 and click on edit. Now if you don't have advanced uh, features turned on, you're not going to see this edit button, button here. So make sure it's turned on and this will be visible to you. Okay, so once we click this button, this is where we can make all of our adjustments to our samples. And it looks a mess. There's so many samples in this kit. And that's because this kit is from, as it looks down here, is multi-layered. Uh, meaning that some of these, the notes that we have here um, have multiple samples on them. And depending on, on how hard you press the notes on your keyboard or your drum pad, a different sample will play back. But anyways, as we can see down here, that the samples that we need don't use multi-samples. They use a single sample, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Now a great way to find the sample you want to edit in this mess is to find it here on your keyboard first or by pressing the note on your keyboard or drum pad. The sample will be highlighted and from here there is a load of edits we can make. However, we just want to change its output to the desired channels. For the kick, it will be channels 3 and 4. Now if we keep one eye on the mixer, we can see it's now coming out of 3 and 4. We can then easily go ahead and do the same thing for our two rim shots. So channels 5 and 6, and channels 7 and 8. Now you can see that they're all on their own separate channels. If you attempt to exit out of this now, it will ask you to save it. And if you don't, it will actually erase all of your hard work and not even think twice about it. So I would suggest saving it. Obviously, if you're editing stock Logic sounds, this will actually overwrite them. So in that case, I would say it's best to hit cancel and then click instrument and then save as. This way it's a separate sound onto itself. After all that hard work, I will then go ahead and save this multi-output instrument as a patch so that I can then go ahead and use it in any beat of my choice. If you want to learn about saving patches in Logic Pro 10, you can do so in the video in the top right hand corner right now. But yeah, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos just like this. Also, remember to hit that bell button just so you can get the alerts straight to your phone, iPad or whatever you use. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.